so welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, if you've not already subscribed to my channel, if you could please do so, because you'll get lots of helpful hints and tips all throughout the year from my home garden, my allotment, and also my home kitchen. Now today I'm going to focus on how the cost of living is affecting the UK and how there are some really easy things you can do to make your life better that will save you money and enrich your life and growing your own food is one of them. So first of all growing your own food is definitely something that will enrich your life. Now obviously I've got an allotment and I grow a lot of things at home um, and I know that I eat better as a result of it and I know it absolutely saves me a fortune plus the fact you can swap things with friends or family and they're more likely to do you a favour if you've helped them out it's almost kind of like um, what it used to be like in the old days like bartering if you've not already subscribed to my channel and growing your own um, fruit and vegetables is something that appeals to you then please do subscribe to my channel because you don't have to grow things on a huge scale like we do um, you can just grow a few things um, just a few things just that are easy just even if it's just herbs or a few salad leaves or tomatoes or beans you know there's lots of things you can do that will make a real positive difference the other thing is not to waste so only buy what you need and when you need it so rather than buying lots of food and wasting it planning each week and making a list of what you need every week I have a plan of my menu of roughly what I'm having during the week it's not really really rigid and I can swap it around a little bit but that's one way I save money um, and also uh, probably by no coincidence our actual business my husband and I are both self-employed in the UK and we actually help people save money and earn an extra income now i all usually joke it's for all the glamorous things the essential services that we all have to pay for and um, so looking at what you're paying for everything and trying to make good savings while still getting good service and good quality is is another way of reducing the bills and we will put a link in the description if you want to look at how you can reduce those everyday living costs down if you are in the uk if you're thinking of earning an extra income which a lot of people are at the moment um, that's another way you know we, people call it like a side hustle or you know something something to do in your spare time so it could be something that you enjoy you could earn a bit of extra money and um, what we do we enjoy and we earn money out of it and there are always opportunities with what we do and um, it's a very flexible way of working because obviously we live what we call the good life and um, so what we do needs to fit in and around a busy family schedule um, and we want to live a more um, we want to live in more in tune with nature and live life more on our terms so if earning an extra income is something that appeals to you we will put a link in the description where you can see how that works to see whether it's something you would like to do as well um, I think also just looking at your general everyday living expenses you know look, look down the bank statement look at the things that are maybe unnecessary um, when it comes to cost of living you don't want to cut things out that are going to make your life miserable you want to look at things that will enrich your life I've got a really good friend who advocates having a few days where you try and do things that don't cost you any money and that's not through being poor or tight-fisted that's just getting getting in touch with nature and realizing that life isn't all about money and there's lots of things that um, don't cost anything that you can just enjoy like nature and um, gardening you know costs very little and um, foraging you know enjoying the countryside I mean if you did a quick look on Google of you know what to do in whatever county you live in for free there'll be a whole host of ideas there um, and I think it kind of gets us more in tune with each other rather than everything if, if, if everything is determined on money when money gets a little bit tight you get a little bit more cranky if you've got lots of things you can do um, to improve that and enrich your life then obviously you've got lots of options and life just seems a lot better now I do hope you've enjoyed um, this little um, video on how to improve your life during this current time and there definitely are options out there um, if you think there aren't if things look really bleak for you there's definitely always options you've just got to look for them if you've got any questions then please do put them in the comments and obviously take a look at some of the useful links we're going to attach to this video to help you